Hello everybody, welcome in. It's Laura from Tenacious Taurus Twin Flame Tarot and this is going to be the Twin Astrology Forecast for the Twin Flames for the week ahead. Uh, before jumping into the forecast, I did want to talk about some big energies um, and so I'm pre-recording this on Sunday and so while I'm pre-recording this on Sunday, June 11th, we do have Pluto ingressing back into Capricorn retrograde. And so uh, what I feel is a week of some truth bombs. And it's this energy of, of like that one last push when it comes to birthing this new reality, uh, this new cycle. And so Pluto's like this generational planet, right? And it does relate to our collective awareness and everything that is kind of massive, intense and hidden in the Plutonian theme of Capricorn. I often associate Capricorn uh, to the devil card. And so we're breaking free from toxic karmic soul contracts is what I'm feeling. And so anything that wasn't addressed uh, over the last 15 years, it's all kind of boiling to the surface. And we also have Pluto trining Mercury today while it ingresses. And so uh, this trine that's being formed is kind of amplifying this death energy is what I feel. It's an amplified death energy. But it's also kind of increasing our drive to discover um, and establish new creative forms. And so there's a lot going on within the Twin Flame Collective um, energy field at this point in time. And we're feeling it. I know I'm feeling it. We had the moon transitioning uh, through Pisces on the weekend. And it's, it's now moved into Aries uh, today. But there was a lot of purging, especially with um, Saturn uh, in the pre-shadow uh, retrograde period. It's about to go retrograde and Saturn does deal with karma and Saturn is naturally ruled by Cap Capricorn. And so Pisces is um, the, the mystical part, right? And so I do feel there's this conducive energy and we're, we're entering into a time period for many of the twins where it comes to um, some retrograde energies of powerful research, uh, thoroughly investigating and exploring the very foundations of the twin flame uh, connection and the twin flame journey. And I do feel a lot of spiritual fascination is, is coming back online. And I do feel our brain, our thoughts are going to be very potent under this influence. And so it's this very powerful penetrating level at the mental level, right? To expand our consciousness, to break free from uh, the, the karmic patterns embedded in the collective consciousness. And so we also have uh, Venus uh, forming um, a, a hard aspect uh, with Jupiter as well in the energies, which is promoting gluttony. And so I do feel there's a lot of like um, spiritual psychosis taking place, especially with any self-indulgent behaviors with alcohol and drugs playing out for the Divine Masculine Collective. I know the energy is just more lazy uh, than usual. I feel very lazy. And I know that's one of the shadow aspects of Taurus, but usually I'm a get up and I'm, I'm a go getter. And I just don't have any drive or motivation. I've tried to jump on and channel these energies since Friday. And I just didn't have it in me. And I'm still very um, lacking when it comes to motivation. But I wanted to get this out there. And so we have to be careful with this aspect. Because this is where we kind of go against our common sense. With Venus and Leo opposing Taurus. We've got a lot of oppositions with the fixed energy that doesn't like to change. And Leo can, can promote gluttony. In the broader sense, when in when in the lower vibration, and so spending, you're going to want to watch your spending. I also feel um, a lot of the masculines are sinking further and further into debt um, in these energies. So we do have, um, oh my God, where's my little paper? I brought down the wrong paper. Um, I just feel a lot of truth bombs are kind of playing out. We've got some big energies as well with Mercury. We've got Mercury squaring it up with Saturn um, later in the week. A lot of these energies are playing out later in the week, but we got some stuff going on in the background, uh, still creating a lot of uncertainty and, and confusion. We still have the transiting North Node squaring it up with Pluto, and that is all playing out in the background, um, which is kind of pushing that one last push for uh, this uh, transformation process. And so with Mercury squaring it up with Saturn, 
we got to remember Mercury is now in Gemini, its natural ruler. And so I do feel this is a time symbolizing an opportunity uh, for the masculine to readjust um, his sense of discipline, structure, and to really figure out how to instill those boundaries. I do feel there's going to be some type of event that's really going to show the masculine um, the Saturnian principles in whatever area in his life that this would fall in his natal chart that has held him back. I also feel um, like all of this pressurized, uh, foggy confusion is what it feels like collectively. A lot of negative thinking is is kind of coming up as well, which is going to create a lot of communication problems. And it's not a, really a matter of a communication problem. It's a frequency difference is what I feel is really being noticeable at this time collectively as we kind of pierce the veil even further. I just feel everything is slower, slower, slower than usual, even though Mercury is a very fast moving planet with Saturn in the pre-shadow retrograde. It's... It's just creating this pressurized, slow cooker energy is what I feel. Um, forgetfulness. I do feel like um, clumsiness, making mistakes is going to be coming up a lot. I think many of the divine masculines are being tested mentally right now. So this is why I feel I'm being asked to kind of just be a little bit lazy and 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 laid back. And I do feel the gluttony coming up because it's this energy of I keep wanting to go into the kitchen and eat something as if I want to fill a void. And I'm like, I'm not even hungry. So I walk into the kitchen and I'm not even really hungry. So it is this energy. I feel a lot of people are, are searching to fill a void um, right now. That's not really going to be the best approach. I don't feel um, in these energies. I do think it's going to be a challenging week. Until we can clearly see the whole problem or karmic situation we need to address. Um, and until we see the entire problem, we can't get the entire perspective, right? So right now I feel there's a lot of narrow focused energy. I do feel too, a lot of the masculines are going down a lot of rabbit holes. I know um, I was scrolling TikTok uh, this morning and yesterday morning and and oh my God, the conspiracy theories coming up in my TikTok feed, um, I felt was like a mirror image or a projection of what the masculines are going down all of these uh, very rapid rabbit holes of expansion as well, I feel in the energies um, in order uh, to get them to break free from that narrow point of view, um, from that very hardened way of thinking that they've kind of been stuck in. I also feel, you know, there's a lot of accusations. I feel a lot of the masculines are being very stubborn, very ignorant, and very lazy. And there's a lot of accusations going on because of the rigid thinking. And and we all know how difficult it is to kind of share these thoughts and these visions. And it can lead to communi communication breakdowns if you're not sharing these uh, visions with people that are aligned to these higher frequencies. And so I do feel um, if the masculine that you're dealing with is still embedded in that karmic cycle, arguments are really likely this week because I do feel the karmic has some type of authority over the masculine being very bossy, very aggressive. And this is to trigger the masculine to embrace this change because they've not been open to this change or these new thoughts or these new ideas. I do feel a lot of people are kind of nagging at the masculine like a seven of wands type energy and they just kind of want to disappear. And and it, this is due to them clinging to these old fashioned outdated views and opinions. And so the nagging, the arguments, all of this is a sign for the masculine to update those old beliefs and to learn also the energy of compromise. And so Saturn uh, squaring it up with uh Mercury is is kind of bring that to the surface and so I know I've been feeling this underlying energy of depression and and I'm not sure why and I do feel it is collective I also feel it is a masculine collective depression a little bit um and fear of rejection and I do feel a lot of isolation I know a lot of the twins are very isolated at this time uh, and so the masculine's in this negative thought process too about thinking about approaching the feminine and and seeing the worst of every every possible uh, scenario. And he's kind of in this energy, I feel, of sitting and dwelling on all of the bad things that have happened to him that are still continuously happening to him. And when we get in this negative loop, we keep recreating these negative experiences. And I do feel the biggest fear of the masculine right now is death. They fear death. 
and uh, that trust fall song by Pink keeps coming up in my mind. And and this is clearly related to Twin Flame journey as well. It is the energy of the trust fall. We have to trust the fall. We have to take the leap of faith and trust the fall that we will be caught by the universe um, in the fall, right? And so everything I feel is going wrong in the masculine's life is what it feels like. And that they've kind of lost a little bit of hope, like, like hopeless. And so um, all of these Saturn negative influences are coming forward, not to create a bad situation, but it's to shift the perception of what makes us think the way that we do. And so the symptoms of this energy this week, I feel a lot of physical symptoms. Um, there's this lack of coordination, slow, slow reflexes, lethargy. It feels like molasses. Um, so tired, just a lousy, lousy, depressive um, energy collectively, I feel, is coming forward. We feel this heaviness, this tightness in the chest. And so I do feel it's important to stay conscious of these aspects playing out this week because we don't want to overdo it and we want to catch the negative thoughts as they arise to shift into a, a, a happier mindset, right? And so the ignorance, right, of these effects are going to cause a lot of relationship upsets, truth bombs, problems. It's a very grumpy time, I feel, collectively. And let's face it, if you're grumpy, if you're angry with your current situation, that's a huge trigger indicator that this isn't really working, right? Um, it's really not in the flow. And so there's going to be a lot of judgments um, this week when it comes to past errors. I do feel there's a lot of verbal abuse uh, going on in the karmic relationship cycles um, a lot of verbal and emotional abuse. And this is intentionally, the karmic is intentionally being nasty, I feel, with insults or abusive remarks towards the masculine. And this is the energy of having to face these karmic repercussions. And if we don't face them now, we have to face them in a future timeline, in a future life. And so I do feel a, a major wake-up call energy is kind of coming forward but we do have, you know, Mercury forming a sextile to Venus. And so I do feel this is really highlighting the very positive, friendly energy that the feminine is harnessing. And the masculine sees if he wants to relieve this tension, he has to approach the feminine honestly expressing his affections. And that will restore a level of intimacy between the twins. And when Saturn does station retrograde, it is retrograding in Pisces in the sixth house of Pisces is where it will be when it enters the retrograde. So all of these Piscean themes are coming up. Um, I think of High Priestess, right? It is going to be a very deep internal transformation. So you're really going to want to pay attention to where Pisces falls in your housing side of the chart. Because that is going to be the area of your life most affected uh, by this uh, mutable water sign. For me, it is my ascendant. And so... This is uh, who I am, right? This is the gateway to past lives. And I've been transmuting a lot of past life timelines again, like I did in the beginning. So I do feel um, a lot of uh, details coming up from past life memories for a lot of the divine masculines. And so Saturn's going to be retrograde from, um, um, from Saturn. Saturn's going to be retrograde from June 17th. Uh, see, confusion, uh, all the way to uh, November the 4th. And so we're going to have the post shadow after that as well. And so the mutable signs are going to be mostly affected. And so uh, the planet of boundaries of karma restrictions is moving backwards in Pisces, which has no limits. It's the energy of the Piscean ocean with water. There is no beginning and there is no end. And I actually watched uh, the second Avatar movie last night and very profound movie. If you haven't watched the first or the second one, I suggest going to watch them. Definitely related to uh, the twin flame mission, I feel, and the higher energies. And so with Saturn going retrograde, the purpose is, is to give the divine masculine this reality check, right? And the energies are promoting spiritual personal growth, spiritual wisdom, spiritual maturity, and, and so when it's retrograde, it's an internal shift. And then when the planet moves forward, then we can bring this into a reality in an external way. And so um, there's going to be a lot of things happening in our inner world. 
as inner earth ascends, our inner world also has to ascend. And so we're rethinking, reevaluating our work responsibilities, our love life, our living situations. Um, and it's a lot of deep inner shadow integration taking place. And it will push all of us collectively to think about the foundations that we've set for our lives, why we're in that belief system of those set foundations how we've accomplished things with them, why, and what to question and to and what to rework over the next few months. And so this really is a time collectively where we're going to have to kind of get real with ourselves. And like I said, it's going to depend all on where Saturn's going to be hitting your natal chart. And so I'm going through a major upgrade with my gifts, with uh, the channel. And so it might be a little noticeable uh, that uh, the videos are going to be sparse coming up here during this retrograde, depending on my energy levels. I know I'm a big stressor on when, when the energies are thick and heavy. I do not like to jump on and channel because it can come through a little bit distorted. And so um, we have to also acknowledge, acknowledge how far we've come. So I, it's been a purging for me, uh, a releasing of where I've come from, from the initial spontaneous Kundalini activation uh, and the ascension experience to where I am now several, several years later and um, what challenges I've had to overcome and what I've had to take on for this emotional work that I've done to get to the next level. And so I do feel uh, I've been taking on a lot more emotional work at another layer because healing is not linear. It is a spiral dance and we go back to learn things at a deeper level. And so um, I feel a lot of the masculines have been brushing this off, prodding this off. And so this is going to feel like a bit of a wake up call for them, whereas the feminines already done uh, the wake up call. And so it's just a, a layering of clearing is what I feel. So I do feel those that have, you know, their sun signs and immutable signs like Gemini, Virgo, Sag. And Pisces, you're going to feel this more than others. Um, or if you've got it like in your big three, <coughs> especially around zero to seven degrees, um, you'll probably feel this more than most. If you'd like to book in for a personal um, session with me, a personal overall full reading, feel free to reach out. Uh, my email is in the description box below because I do feel there's going to be collectively a lot of uncertainty and confusion coming up here. Um, we do have a transit this week with Neptune, uh, square of the sun. So this is creating a, a, a lot of uh, uncertainty, a lot of confusion. And so this is what is also coinciding with this lack of vitality, I feel. And, it, and there's a lot of psychological energy, I feel, coming up when it comes to past disappointments that we've experienced. Um, I do feel this is where the masculine goes through the deflation of this excessive ego that he's produced. And so I do feel a lot of negative effects because deep down inside, a lot of these masculines are already a very insecure person and this is why they run. And so I feel a lot of the masculines are having their vitality weakened, making it hard for them to get motivated or enthusiastic about anything because that's how I was kind of feeling, which is making work very challenging, right? For all of us. And so um, it's almost this energy of like being allergic to work. I just don't want to work. Um, <coughs> but during the healing process, this is where we go through the healing of our psychological issues and our health issues, right? So I do feel there's going to be some type of an event um, with a person that's going to cause a lot of disappointment for the masculine, which is going to have to force him to kind of battle against the odds. And he's feeling very insecure on top of feeling guilty and needing to be apologetic to the feminine. And so um, a lot, a lot, a lot of disillusionment is playing out in the energies. And I do feel the, the masculine, you know, over idealized this whole karmic situation. He was very gullible thinking that he could run from the feminine and this is leading to a lot of loss i feel scandal i feel a lot of slandering by the karmic um because of all of these deceptive influences um in the energies because the masculine was not above board in this karmic dealing and so a lot of high stress competitive things i feel are taking place around the masculine uh there's a lot of predators honing in on his over empathic side i feel a lot of spiritual attacks is kind of what it felt like. 
and it's the exploitation. We're, we're in this energy of this great big comic reset. Co comic. Co co it's comical. It's comical. Cosmic reset. Uh, we have the new moon in Gemini. We close off the week uh, with the new moon in Gemini. And so this is the reset button for the twins. Gemini rules the twins. And so the masculine's been feeling he's on the wrong path. And last month was kind of like a wash, right, with the eclipses. We thought there was going to be movement, but it was kind of like a wash. And now here comes the hard, uh, the hard reboot is what I feel. And so the new moon does arrive to help us make a fresh start. And because it's the new moon is ruled in Gemini, I do feel there's going to be an opportunity uh, presented for the twins to recommit to the positive expression that we came here to embody and to ground heaven on earth. It is the sign of the twins, right? It's time to improve our communication between the counterparts. It's time for the feminine to hear what the masculine has to say, to hear his point of view um, instead of assuming, right? And the masculine has, has dodged this uh, conversation and we've, we've been so elusive to the answer, right? Divine feminine. And so this is the time where... The twins are entering into a new cycle of communication, but it will take a lot of re-evaluation. Um, and I do feel this is also where we take in a lot of information about the journey. The twins are here to communicate, right? We're here to communicate. Uh, and this potent Gemini energy is giving us a chance to make these important changes once and for all, especially with the moon forming a square to Neptune during the uh, during the new moon. So disillusionments are likely before we embark upon the new path, right? So a lot of the masculines, I feel, are in this five of wands energy internally wrestling with all of these perceptions, these past life perceptions, their current life expectations, and they really can't see which direction to go. It kept being shown a spinning compass. And I'm not even going to go on to some of the conspiracy theory rabbit holes I went down last night when it comes to the compass in the Northwest east and south and the earth and everything but i do feel it's very discomforting right because the past is is being revealed as if it's in the very real now moment but this is the gateway for a new beginning so mutable signs cardinal signs we're going to be feeling this so wherever you have aries cancer libra and capricorn in your chart too especially the pluto and capricorn and with the transiting north node in the background squaring it up with pluto although it won't be exact this is uh, cre increasing the uncomfortableness, right? And so, you know, a lot of us aren't, aren't very comfortable with exerting our power and our will directly, right? Especially with the Scorpio South Node, it, it indicates underhanded manipulative ways coming forward to reach goals. And we should not be coming from a place of manipulative behavior because that's just uh, showing where we're clouded by insecurities, Right. And so I do feel rebirth, regeneration, and transformation, but we kind of got to sift through the underworld, which we've been doing. And so this week is going to require a lot of effort, a lot of resilience, and a lot of pushing to get through. But um, when we're on the other side, we're going to have this new level of self-awareness, right? And so a lot of triggers to trigger this profound change, and it's going to be an opportunity, I feel, for the divine masculine to let go of everything that is not serving him anymore and for him to find out who he he really is and what he's capable of to realize what is truly important to him and what is not and so i do feel you know that the karmic is the person that represents and embodies all of the characteristics of the plutonian energy pluto is naturally ruled by scorpio and so i do feel um, there is this energy of irritation and obsession also being triggered in the karmic, being experienced in the karmic, triggering all of these jealous emotions, which is there to show the masculine what he really does want, which is the feminine. And so uh, the energy is fear coming up, fear. And so when we are deeply rooted in um, the timeline of fear, it will manifest in very upsetting and brutal ways. Pluto comes to destroy, right? Because the ruling planet is, is, is or the Scorpio rules this planet. And so there's a lot of deep fears being unearthed, uh, past traumas, past traumatic memories being unearthed, fear of death, rebirth. Um, but first we have to destroy the old before we can be regenerated and rise like the Phoenix. 
And so a lot of esoteric secrets and mysteries, I feel, are coming forward. So pay attention to the eighth house. We can't just keep going surface level anymore. We have to trigger all of these unconscious issues to the surface. I got a divine feminine calling me right now. She'll have to wait. Um, <laughs> so um, I think Pluto is scaling things up, right? Uh, so we can evolve and get to the next level. Um, and we do have to face both the good and the bad and quite possibly the ugly parts of ourselves that we don't want to face. And so um, the energy is going to be extremely dangerous this week. I do feel a lot of rage jealousy hatred cruelty violence is coming up due to the obsessive manipulation and possessiveness of the karmic um who is likely in an unevolved um energy trying to trigger all of these power struggles through mind games so i think we're in for a week of truth bombs but let's jump in with the with the cards and uh we'll do that quickly i actually added um my volume two to the spiritual uh journey oracle deck so the cards with the blue front um and i've pre-shuffled <laughs> i've pre-shuffled i love how that works uh twin soul rediscovery so that's the lifting the veil of illusion reconciliation on the table evolution imparting wisdom and the student is ready but first we got to go into all of this wounding so i do feel telepathy um, I do feel the masculine is tapped into the telepathy and this is why the feminine is feeling disconnected and needing to ground as the masculine goes through this uh, challenging relationship dynamic to face all of this past life wounding, right? Um, and they're ready. They're ready uh, for this evolution journey. So I do feel we are very close to a reconciliation energy and the masculine is uh, stripping away these outdated beliefs. We're here to bring this high vibration uh, love to the world and so there's those very uncomfortable ascension symptoms right emotional negative emotions being purged physical laziness um over mental stimulus um all of these negative physical symptoms as we go through this ascension process so i do feel the masculine is is awakening is going through some type of self-actualization and i do feel the moon in pisces on the weekend kind of um activated some heart energy uh, there's that tower energy, divine plan at work, living consciously. So there was some type of tower that has recently unfolded, I feel, or is about to unfold um, to bring forward uh, the illumination of the spiritual path for the divine masculine because we are here to live consciously. We are here uh, to live consciously, um, intuitively. And so the feminist presence really has played a vital role in this awakening journey, along with the karmic relationship dynamic. And so it takes like the perfect storm uh, to activate the greater purpose. So I do feel uh, a lot of realizations this week when it comes to the spiritual path, the mission work, the divine plan at work with this mission, living consciously, leaning into our intuition and finding our tribes, right? Uh, separating from those that we are not um, spiritually connected with so we can have these meaningful long-term relationships moving forward and so a dismissal of the ego but first we kind of got to explore the depths of the subconscious mind the collective consciousness fourth dimension and journey into the higher self 5d and above and so we really need to watch our energies there's a need for emotional and energetic boundaries at this time um as the twins come together to contribute to humanity's growth and expansion. Um, and so really follow your intuition this week because we're at the divine why, guys. We are at the divine why. 29. Retreat. Keep your commitments. Actually, I had uh, the spiritual empath, my good friend on YouTube, the spiritual empath. She had her first ever retreat uh, this week, and I, it was a rough go. But she kept that commitment. And so I also feel this is like the hermit energy retreating. Cancer's coming through. Cancer retreats it in its uh, crab shell, crabby cancer retreating and, and really reevaluating uh, the commitments, right? The commitment of the mission were keep your commitments focus on success so keep being committed to success divine feminine this week i think is also going to be key uh in the energies i know i'm going into week three for the tarot class i do plan on offering another uh tarot class so i'll uh, pay attention for that being advertised uh, but the tarot class is going well i'm really enjoying that it's a lot of fun 
Okay, so if you'd like to learn tarot with me as well, check out the email below and uh, send me a message. Okay, bottom of the deck, we get B of Service. And so Knight of Pentacles, Energy, Virgo, it is service. It is our service mission to live through the heart, to live life uh, to the fullest, and to teach others how to do this, right? To live through the heart. And so a week of re-evaluating our priorities, tuning out distractions, Tuning out the mental noise and embracing the flow because the forgiving and the forgetting will never forget. But forgiveness is needed and I do feel a huge purge on the heart so we can get back to this expression of blissful joy and rejuvenating through these adversities. So uh, let's, let's, let's jump in with the tarot and see. Ten of Cups reverse, judgment reverse, so major judgment call bad judgment call this is bad karma this is uh the refusal of the awakening and this really has led to the loss of a beautiful emotional experience so i do feel uh, the facade is done and there's going to be a uh, wow a very quick departure the masculine i feel is trying to find his strength to return home to the feminine and to face this bad judgment call it's like the feminine's got everything in her hands at this point in time Two of Pentacles, Ace of Swords, Reverse, right? We can't keep juggling, juggling. We can't keep living in this state of denial. And so there's still these communication blocks that we need to work through. And there's that, there's that wounded healer. And so I do feel uh, the, the feminine is really being asked to pull back. To pull back as well. Um, silence, right? Silence uh, speaks louder than words sometimes. But I do feel this energy of the rug getting pulled out uh, from under the Divine Masculine. The Empress is the first card out uh, in the energies for the week ahead. The Empress. So that's you, Divine Feminine, coming through. And uh, then we get the Seven of Wands, Wheel of Fortune reversed. I felt the need to pull those out. And so... I do feel like all of these challenges to get to the feminine. So the feminine, I feel, is in this energy of needing to trust. Um, you're just needing to hold that space. You are about to reap your harvest. That one last push, the empress gives birth when timing is right. We get uh, the wheel of fortune in reversed. With the uh, seven of wands in reverse, this is dropping all defenses. I do feel a week of setbacks and challenges as well because there is this uh, death energy in reverse coming through with the justice in reverse. So I do feel this is kind of where the energies are at. Uh, it's feeling like battleground this week. Um, things are feeling very stuck. I do feel uh, something is about to come back to life for the feminine. And when the justice comes out in reverse... I do feel this is a writing writing of a past wrong leading to an abundant new beginning. And so as the feminine fully comes back to life, I do feel the masculine experiences the fall. So what else can you tell me about this Empress energy? We got the three of cups. Landed all on the seven of wands in reverse. Two of pentacles. So there's the juggling, right? And there's the juggling. There's not been a decision made. We are at the crossroads. And so the seven of wands in reverse, This I said, tell me about the empress that landed on the seven of wands in reverse. We got the three of cups. So on this three of cups, we got Cupid uh, basically adorning and crowning the divine feminine up, up above the water. And then we've got the sirens, the mermaids. And so the masculine was tempted by a siren is what I'm feeling. And and uh, that's what the fight's been over, I feel. The karmic wants truth. The masculine's holding on for money and stability. We've got the Capricorn energy, Gemini, Libra, Aquarius. And so the Capricorn, Aquarian energy. The feminine, I feel, that the masculine's connected with the karmic feminine. She doesn't have any love left. She's poured out her love. They're both holding their stance. Neither of them are budging, stubborn as can be. And, and this is what been a fight over truth and money, right? There's no really love in the cards. And I do feel that's what the fight is over. They're always constantly fighting over the feminine. And the masculine's really held on to his pentacles and his emotions tied to his chest. 
there's going to be a major ending. There's going to be a downfall in the false contract in order to get the masculine to go into the deeply seated wounding of the past life timelines because there's fear, right? There's fear of giving up independence. Let's look at the past injustice of the moon reaver. Something about the new moon in Gemini. I do feel there's going to be a secret new beginning with the moon reversed. Um, it is ruled by Pisces and, um, and uh, oh dear, Cancer. But I do feel uh, there's going to be a secret new beginning, facing the fears, coming out of illusion, and heading straight into a Four of Wands uh, union foundation. So something's coming back around. It's time for this cycle to come back around. The twins are here to alchemize two into one. And to harness that strength, right? To build these new structures. So uh, I do feel the feminine's like, yeah, you might got your money tied to your chest, but here I am. I got the world to give. And I'm not greedy. I'm not hoarding with my money, right? I, I'm the one that's glowing here. I'm the one holding it up to the sky. And I do feel coming in to face that bad judgment call. So uh, we'll see how this energy plays out this week. But I do feel this week is going to definitely have a substantial impact on the Twin Flame Collective. So we're really going to want to just go with the flow. So we'll get a closing message. <laughs> do not entertain gossip. Eliminate gossip. So I do feel there's a lot of gossip uh, surrounding the masculine. There's a lot of suffering because of the gossip. A lot of the karmics, I feel, are gossiping about the masculine, any assumptions that they've made. They believe they're right, and they want to defend these assumptions um, and trying to make the feminine look bad. And so... That is also coming up, I feel. We get express your own divinity. I love it. And take your life and enjoy it. So the cat energy. So I do feel the masculine is learning. He does not need the acceptance of others. Um, he does not need to have all of these great philosophical concepts either. He has a right to be himself. I do feel the masculine is being pushed into expressing his divinity and to be thankful for being alive, right? And and we'd be thankful uh, about being alive by loving ourselves and treating ourselves good and then bring that on to others. And so, you know, we're alive to take life by the balls and to enjoy it or to take the bull by the horns and to enjoy it. And so we were all born with the right to be happy and to love and to share our love and our gifts collectively and so i feel the masculine is being asked to take a risk and to know that uh, love is all that matters and so i do feel a week of transforming our lives um and so i do feel there's going to be many upsets uh to trigger all of these feelings of anger and jealousy and and eventually to get to the sadness uh so we can let our life be transformed so i do feel a week of transformation a uh, complete and utter transformation. And that's when magic will happen for the twins is, uh, is when we choose to embrace freedom. And we do that through unconditional love. And so that's kind of what I got for the week ahead for the twins, guys. I hope this helped. I hope this resonated. If you would like to book a personal or a soulmate reading with me, check out the description box below. And I do look forward to seeing you all again next time. Thank you.